and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayna and I do a ton of different content from travel vlogs to pack with me's to read with me's, book reviews, weekend vlogs with my baby and all that kind of good stuff. But today we're doing a pack with me slash get ready. I leave for Boston in like three freaking days and I am so freaking excited. My sister and I are going for a book convention called Centers and Stardust. It's the first one they're ever doing. It's dark romance and I get to meet some really amazing, beautiful, talented women who write the most amazing stories and bring other worlds to life and I cannot wait to be there. So today we are prepping. As I said, tomorrow is going to be all about packing. So right now I'm on my way to get my nails and my eyebrows done and then we have a hair appointment at 2.30. My roots have definitely come in. They're darker and I still see that orangish like reddish tint that's starting to come back in. So definitely getting that taken care of. And tonight we're taking a break from prepping. And my husband and I are staying with a few of our friends in this like drinking game that's on the TV show The New Girl which it's so weird. The rules aren't even really clear and it's kind of like the floor is lava, candy lane, and something else mixed together and it's, I don't know, it's really complicated and one of the guys, like the, the guy we're staying, house that we're staying at is supposed to explain everything before we get there but we're probably going to want it passing out random spots because there's a lot of drinking. But not only that, we are cooking out, doing hamburgers, hot dogs doing different dips and everything and my really good friend is going to help me do trial makeup for Centers and Stardust for the ball that I'm going to. Don't really wear fake eyelashes so she's going to help me figure out how to do that and get that seamless and we're going to try a few different eyeshadow looks so that I'm really excited so that's also part of prepping and like I said tomorrow is all about packing and getting everything in the suitcase except for you know toiletries and last minute stuff that will get packed Tuesday when I get home from work. To get these done, so I'm leaving the nail salon. I did not nail all in there because I was basically on the phone with my cousin the entire time. But look how pretty. I love them. I can't, she did just like the picture depicted. Now the red color is a little bit off, it's a little bit different, but the photo that I had saved off of Pinterest, like I'll, I'll put the inspo photo up for you guys. It was kind of dark, so you couldn't really tell, but I absolutely love them. It's gonna go really well with all the outfits and stuff that I have planned. My hairdresser, and I'm gonna be there for ever because it's gonna take a really long time to get my hair done. Not only because of what I'm getting done, but also because my hair is so fine that it takes forever to brush through because it tangles so freaking easily. Also, got my eyebrows done. If you can tell, they look so much better, and I'll be able to shape them. I've never done my eyebrows like I think I've done my eyebrows twice in my entire life. So. That is also one thing we're going to be trying to figure out tonight, so that is going to be interesting. So, we'll see. I look like Pinhead. Peeps, my hair is officially done. This is what it looks like. It's really, it's actually a really pretty color and it's blended really well, but this is definitely not the color that I'm used to or was going for. I was trying to go for the same color that I got last time. It's, it's an ash blonde, so it's dark blonde with like kind of silvery grayish highlights in it, but she accidentally mixed the wrong color. This is what it came out with, so I like it. I'm happy with it, but it definitely wasn't what I was going in for, but it is really pretty. It's a lot brighter. The dark that I had, like kind of grayish, this kind of reminds me of the hair that I've had forever. The difference is that it's a lot lighter than like the yellow orange but there's still definitely a yellow tint to it. It's not orange or yellow tint to my hair like at all. I really am tired of that color but it definitely is a lot lighter so I do appreciate that but I like the, the ash blonde because it was darker. It was, it was a mushroom blonde that I had last time. This is definitely not that. It blended really well and it and it goes well. I like how it came out it's just not what I expected and what I was in there what I was going for when I went in there. It is now 5 o'clock. I knew that appointment was going to take like 3 hours. Like I got there at 2.30. She started my hair at like 2.38, something like that. Caps and not foils when she does highlight. So she did the highlight and then the base color after that. She, she did it backwards this time. And that usually takes up most of the time. 2.30 to 5. And I literally, I was checking out. And they're like, where are you at? I said, I told them it was going to take my hair forever. And I have really fine hair. So it takes forever to brush through it and comb it and get it straight and stuff like that. Because... My hair, the way my hair lays, it just instantly tangles, which is why when my splitting, split ends get to a certain extent, I cannot stand it because my hair, like it looks really bad and I brush it and then an hour later it looks like I just run out of bed because of the way that it lays and how bad it tangles. I am now headed to my friend's house where she's going to do my makeup, we're going to eat and then we're going to play that game. Okay. 
Okay, this is our play mat. Our fake play mat. Oh, really? And this is our real game board. Everybody clap your hands. Alright, so here's how we decide who goes first. We've do we're starting boys versus girls. We're going to call numbers. Okay. Only one person can throw a five. If two people throw a five, they do not count. Both of them are canceled out. Everybody understand? The highest sum of numbers gets to go first. Everybody understand? What are you? What are you? Four drinks deep already. And you're throwing up? A lot of, like, when you Alcohol. Have in my stomach. Uh, no. Okay. Right. 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 No. Close this portion. Close this portion. This one. She said. I guess I'll take this to kill the king. I got you. I gotta get you. I forgot to start recording, but she already fixed my lashes. So last night we did not do the makeup because we ended up playing the game and eating and everything, which I'm going to put that in a separate video completely. I'll put like snippets of it in this one, but as far as all the rules and how to play, I'm doing a separate video, which I'll do when I come out from, from Austin. But she fixed them. She had to cut them down because my eyes are really tiny and explained to me the best way to wear them, which ones to wear, so on and so forth. And now we are doing the eyeshadow and I'll put a picture of what concept we're kind of going for and what I'm wearing on the screen. She's doing this eye and then I'm gonna copy my best onto this eye. Okay, okay, she already started. Here we go. Continue. <laughs> okay, so I'm following the natural curve right there. Kind of giving you an outline where I said that that line would be mm -hmm. where you put that tape. Okay, we're gonna bring it over because it looks like you have a half crescent, like a cut crease type thing going on but you have a really dark outer side. So, we're gonna make this dark. Okay, so, we're mixing three colors. We're doing step by step, so she did this and I'm gonna copy. So, we are doing this color, espresso martini in ganache, mixed with uh, this color, factory. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Look at me. I need to do more here. And okay, so you need to kind of put more like across here, like right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Straight through where your pupil would be. Her eye. Here's my eye. She did have to clean this up tremendously. Ignore the makeup right here. We didn't get it. Um, but she sh showed me a trick with cleanser and with Q-tips on how to clean it up because mine was a bit messy. So, and mine is darker than this one, but we're gonna blend it all together. Now we're doing our second color. So we're going to actually blend these like very pale nudes. This one and this one. Okay. Because you are so very light, my lady. Um, right? Yep. And then we're gonna go in, kinda, you're gonna feel like you're on your eyebrow and you actually get a little bit in your eyebrow. But you're gonna go up there and you're just blend and blend and blend and blend. Okay. 
I'm so proud of myself. I did so good. Yeah, that's that's really good, Shay. So now we're going in with the smudger. Show the color. Oh. oh this this eyeshadow. It's I can just show the line. Okay, that's what it looks like, but this is what we're aiming for. So we're gonna use this and that. And moving on to eyebrows, we cleaned this up, did underneath eye and the little crease and we added like the white was a little bit too light so we added some more of like a more of a goldish color from another palette and now we're doing eyebrow the finished eye look i love it it looked really good that fake eyelashes was on and everything i really needed to concentrate her and that's why i didn't do it there's a wing here. I'm not going to do a wing when we get there because I'm really, really bad at it. And I don't feel confident enough to do it. And I don't want to screw up the entire eye and then have to redo my, my makeup because I don't have enough time for that. I did not do my face. The only thing I needed help with was my eyes. So I'm going to, I bought like body jewels and I'm going to put them like at the corners of my eye instead of doing the cat eye. But here it is. It's beautiful. Okay, we're home. And yes, this is still on. Shower and it changed my clothes folded all of our laundry and then started packing. So I have all of my outfits laid out with my shoes. Ignore my daughter, please don't. Okay, yep, 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 there she goes. So I have jammies, jammies, bras, underwears, extra pair of shorts and sweatshirt. And then this is the outfit for um, that I'm wearing on the plane. I'm just, it's the same outfit that I'm going to wear in Salem. I am not going to try and wear comfy anything because these are like, these are really comfy and those combat boots. Ignore the Elmo in the background. I'm actually, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the shoes that I'm wearing now on the plane with these socks. And I'm going to shove this in one of my carry-on bags so I can just change to those shoes when we get there. Extra pair of shorts, extra dress, extra pair of clothes. It is Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Shoes, those shoes go with that outfit. That shoe goes with those. My socks in there. There's two pairs in that one and one pair in this because I'm wearing this for two days, but I wanted to pack an extra pair just in case as well. And then I've already put this in this side. I have this in Vegas, so this is taking up a lot of space, but this is a rolling cart for the books. And then I have my dress for the ball, my cape, my shoes. Go ahead and get everything in this packing cube. It's Phantom and these two they're like empty bags. I had an empty subscription for like almost two years when I was a teenager So I'm bringing these because I need something to help organize when I'm actually in the convention I'm gonna open these and all my books and my merch and my stickers and pins and all that stuff that you get when you go to an author's table So and I'm an organization freak and I can't just throw everything in my cart because hell you're not gonna find something you'll lose something you don't have enough room so i'm bringing this to carry with me on my shoulder i'll have my wallet and stuff in it and then these i can put like stickers pens bookmarks stuff like that in also kind of because i want to organize it yes by author but also by what they are so if i can stick it with if i have a pre-order i'm gonna stick or i buy a book i'm gonna stick their stuff inside the book unless it's like a pen or a bit bigger item and then they'll go in these also in that back pamphlet with the cart um because it's small so it will just lay flat this is the jewelry I'm going to be packing. I bought these layered necklaces off of Amazon. There's three. I'm currently wearing one. I just put it on actually for Salem and I layered these necklaces anyway. So I'm just going to leave this one on. Um, I'm packing these 
and I am going to leave out the heart. I'm not going to be packing these black earrings because I'm going to be wearing those in Salem. So the day that we leave, I'm going to go ahead and put those on. So I'm not packing this in this yeah. container, but the rest of this is going in there. And then this is the rest of my jewelry, but I wear these rings and these two bracelets every day. So I'm not going to pack them because I'll be wearing them. as far as hair so two hair ties um, a scrunchie this one just in case I want to style it um, I have one small one and I'm bringing one metal one and one plastic one that's bigger that they're both in my room because I use them on a daily basis two itty bitty clippy uh, bobby pins and I'm bringing curling iron and a straight iron because I'm really not sure exactly which style I'm doing for certain days obviously a hairbrush I'm putting all of my hair stuff in this section right here. It's the smallest and it usually holds everything. Um, and because I will have my um, one of my big clippy and um, my hairbrush and everything with me on my person, so I won't need to pack it. I've had this forever. I don't know where I got it. Who gives me? inside I have my makeup removers my eye uh, shadows lipsticks uh, all of my eye stuff and eyeshadow palette that fit in here and then face makeup in here and then all my brushes and stuff that go in there then what won't fit um, are the eyelashes and this eyeshadow palette and I almost forgot q-tips to clean up and tape to help tape around my eyes so I can get the eyeshadow perfect stop no Stop. Stop. I <laughs> we have to take a break because we are going to dinner at the family's house um, to discuss food options for our next vacation. No. Please ignore the bath in the background. That is for my daughter is running and she's standing. So we're moving on to the toiletries. So I have some labels to do that. So I have my shampoo. I use purple shampoo. So I need to find the S on it. Shampoo. All these. 
in this section. Obviously, I need to pack my razor and a loofah, but I'm not doing that until Tuesday evening. And then this will have um, my toothbrush and toothpaste in, which again, I'm not going to be packing until Wednesday morning before we leave. And then deodorant and my hairbrush are actually going to be in my carry-on because I want them with me at all times. All right, and I just switched out this to this. I was going to have this. And I'm going to put my contact solution in it so I don't have to bring this whole big-ass thing with me. All right, and if I run out of contacts, I'm sure I don't have enough. My sister also has contacts, so I will be able to use hers if need be. I have my contacts, which I'm always And I think that I am going to pack this one as well for extra. This looks like um, contact solution, extra chopstick, perfume. I'm probably going to pack more perfume. Um, this is a lip scrub my jade roller and my extra contacts my vitamins in here so the toiletry bag is gonna go on go in the big black bag right there and this bag is gonna go in that white that blue and white striped book bag and my hairbrush and my deodorant's also gonna go in the book bag Alright, so this is my personal items bag. I'm also taking this, which is my uh, fanny pack um, slash crossbody, and I usually shove it in here because you're only supposed to have two bags, but this is technically three. This is the one I'm going to be like using my purse or, or bag around um, the city. So the front pocket has my sunglasses, um, pens, a pencil, an extra chapstick, and I'm going to put my lipstick for the day in there. The middle pouch is going to have like my money and stuff in it, and I have a band-aid in here and an uh, extra hair tie. And this one's like going to be medicine and electronics and okay, and I also have a fan, a portable fan in there as well. And this is one of the clippings that I was talking about I'm taking, and this black one I'm also taking. Okay, so in this bag, we have the shoes that I'm going to change into when we get there. And then I am going to um, put the jewelry that I don't need right away and my um, eyelashes because I'm not wearing them. I'm only wearing them for the ball. So that's going to go in there. She needs to go to bed. Um, and then I have these are what I'm taking with me. Not that I'm taking to be signed by the author because she didn't have a pre-order. And then this book is, um, we took it to Love in Vegas. It's a book that we just we had the authors sign in here and I still haven't printed out pictures but you're supposed to put a picture of them right here. It's the same thing for Sarah's so Stardust. So these three are going to go in this bag right here. This bag like it's not going to be completely full or um packed because and that's a good thing because I have souvenirs and books that I have to take home as well so we don't want it full. Alright, and then this bag right here, the book bag, is the one that's going to be closest to me underneath the seat that I have easy access to. I'm putting my Kindle in here. I'm going to put our itinerary and like maps and lists of authors and all that stuff in here as well. And I'm also used putting my makeup palette in here as well because I'm doing my makeup on the plane. I don't know what palette I'm going to use, so I want to make sure that that's in there. I am also putting this blanket inside this. So my makeup bag will be in here as well as this lip roller. And I'm putting my hairbrush and my deodorant in this bag as well. And this with my glasses because you never know what's going to happen with your contacts. So I need to make sure I have this on me at all times. And then this bag has the toiletry bag in it. So if I need it, I have access to it. This is basically it. These are the four bags that I'm taking with me to to Boston. They're the same four bags that I took with me to Vegas. So nothing else is really going in here unless there's like a last minute thing that I want to put in there. And then obviously I have to put the um, toiletry bag, makeup bag in that, and then my money in there as well. And then that's basically it for pack is done because my hair is done, my nails are done. And yeah, so I'm basically ready to go except for putting the last minute stuff that are in the bags. With that, thank you guys for coming along with me with this pack and prep for Boston. I am so excited. Today is, it's Sunday night or evening and we leave on Wednesday morning at like 1 a.m. So we are super close to that date and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna like 
I usually would do a pack with me up until the day that I leave, but I'm not gonna do that because I have a lot of other things going on that I need to get done. Well, let's finish two more books before I leave. So that is taking priority right now. With that said, that is going to be the end with this pack and prep with me for Boston. Thank you guys for showing up and I will see you um, in my next video, which will either be a book review, if I can get that up and recorded and done before I leave, or it will be a Boston video. Bye.